Hi everyone. In the last lecture, we have discussed one component system, that is a water system. In this lecture, again we are going to consider the one component system, that is a sulphur system. So here the water system and the sulphur system are the best examples of the one component system. So let us discuss the sulphur system and the phase diagram of the sulphur system. So here, this is the phase diagram of the sulphur system. So it is a plotted just by plotting the pressure versus temperature. So here, when we consider the sulphur system, so sulphur system serves a very good of one component system, displaying the polymorphism. So here, when we consider any phase diagram, generally the phase diagram it contains areas, curves, and the triple point. So here in the phase diagram of the sulphur system, so there are four areas exhibiting four different phases. So which are these four areas? Number one is area O, P, K, U. So here it represents the vapor phase. Uh, that is a, a sulphur vapor. So this is the first area. Then the second area is uh, that is a U K S W. It represents the liquid sulphur. So here this is a SL liquid sulphur. This is the second area. Third area is the area P K S. It represents the uh, SM. So here the monoclinic sulphur. This is the third area, and the fourth area is area above O P S W, and it represents the S R. That is the rhombic sulphur. So here, when we consider the phase diagram for the sulphur system, uh, there are four areas exhibiting the four different phases. Then the second one is the curves. So here, as like as the water system, here the curves are of two types. That is the stable curves and the metastable curves. So here the uh, there are six stable curves. So here the curve OP. So here the curve OP. It is the, called as the sublimation curve of SR. So this is the first stable curve. Then the second one is the curve PK. So here the per curve PK. It is the sublimation curve of the SM. That is the monoclinic sulphur. Then the curve KU. So curve KU, it is called the vaporization curve of the uh, sulphur, that is the liquid sulphur. So here the KU, it is the vaporization curve of the liquid sulphur. Then the curve KS, so here the curve KS, it is called the melting point curve of the SM, that is the monoclinic sulphur. Then the curve PS, so curve PS, it is called the transition curve of the SR and SM that is the rhombic sulphur and the monoclinic sulphur. So here the curve PS it is the transition curve of SR and SM. Then the curve SW so this is the curve SW this is the called as the melting point curve of the SR. So here these are the uh, stable curves so six stable curves then let us consider the metastable uh, curves. So here in this diagram uh, there are four uh, metastable curves. So here the first one is the uh, metastable curve PH. So here this curve PH, it is the sublimation uh, curve of the metastable SM. Then the second one is the curve PR. So this is the curve PR. So here the curve PR, it is the sublimation curve of the metastable SR. Then the curve RK. So this is the curve R RK. So curve RK, it is the vaporization curve of the metastable SL. So here the curve RK, vaporization curve of the metastable SL. Then the curve RS, so this is the curve RS. So here the curve RS, this is the melting point curve of the metastable SR. So these are the four metastable curves. Then last point here, uh, triple points in the diagram. So here there are three stable triple points. So which are three stable uh, triple point that is a P, then second one is the K, 
and the third one is the yes so these are the stable triple points and there is only one meta stable triple point that is the r so here r is the meta stable triple point so here friends this is a, a phase diagram of the uh, sulfur system so let us discuss uh, the phase diagram of the sulfur system so here the description of the sulfur system so here uh, all of you know that the phase diagram of the sulfur system it consists of the areas curves and the triple points so here there are four areas exhibiting the four different phases already we have discussed this so here the area under opku so here opku represent the vapor phase uh, that is a sulfur vapor then area uksw it represent liquid phase area pks represent the solid phase sm area above opsw represent the solid phase sr already we have discussed this then here the curves there are two types of the curves stable curve and the meta stable curve so here a stable curve uh, these are the uh, six uh, stable curves then the meta stable curve already we have discussed this meta stable curve there are four meta stable curve meta stable curve ph uh, it is a sublimation curve of the meta stable sm curve pr sublimation curve of the meta stable sr then the curve rk so here this is the curve rk it is the vaporization of meta stable uh, sr then the curve rs melting point curve of the meta stable sr then uh, triple points so here there are four triple point out of four three are the stable that is the pks and one is the meta stable that is the r then uh, let us consider the area so here uh, what is the degree of freedom of the area the phase diagram of the sulfur system has the four areas uh, these are labeled as the sr sl sm and the sv so here this represent the single phase system which has two degrees of freedom so here uh, sulfur system it is one component system so here the c is equal to 1 so here the when we consider the any area in the diagram so here there is only one phase for example uh, this is a number 1 that is a sr then this is a number 2 that is a sl that is a liquid sulfur then the number 3 that is a sv sulfur vapor and this is a uh, sm that is a monoclinic sulfur so here uh, in area there is a only one phase that's why p is equal to 1 so as per phase rule f is equal to c minus p plus 2 substituting the value of the c and p here f is equal to 2 that means here the areas are the bivariant that means here if we have to locate any point in the area uh, we have to specify the pressure as well as the temperature so here uh, areas are the bivariant then second one is the curves so here the every curve represent the two phase in equilibrium so here in the diagram when we consider the any curve whether it is a stable or the meta stable so here every curve represent the two phases in equilibrium so here any curve for one temperature there is only one value of the pressure and vice versa that means uh, when we consider any pressure uh, on the curve or any value of the pressure it has only one value of the temperature so thus the degree of freedom uh, for the biphasic equilibria is one so here the degree of freedom for the curve uh, it is one so here as per phase rule so here uh, in here value of the p is equal to 2 because there is a biphasic equilibria p is equal to 2 again sulfur system is the one component system so c is equal to 1 so as per phase rule f is equal to 1 so here the uh, the curve in case of the curves the degree of freedom it is equal to 1 then let us discuss the each curve in detail so once again there are two types of the curves stable curves and the meta stable curves so there are uh, six stable curves and there are four uh, meta stable curve so here the first curve curve op so here this is the curve op so here it is a called as the vapor pressure or the sublimation curve of the sr and along this curve the two phases that is a sr and sv that is a rhombic sulfur and the sulfur vapors they are in equilibrium friends here o is the lowest point up to which vapor pressure can be measured so here when we consider the curve op so here this is the curve op and here the o is the lowest point up to which the vapor pressure can be measured this is the first curve 
then the, let us consider the second stable curve that is the curve of pk so here this is the curve pk this curve it is the called as the vapor pressure curve of the sm and sv uh, so here sm and sv coexist in equilibrium along this curve it shows uh, variation of the vapor pressure of sm with temperature so second curve is the curve pk then the curve ku so this is the curve ku so here the curve ku it is known as the vapor pressure curve of the sl and sv so here the sl and sv are in equilibrium along the curve ku u is the this is the point u so u is the critical temperature of the liquid sulfur beyond u or beyond it only vapor phase of the sulfur is exist then the third one uh, fourth one is the curve ks so this is the curve ks so curve ks it is a called as the melting point curve of monoclinic sulfur and here the two phases in equilibrium along this curve are the sm and uh, sl sm means monoclinic sulfur and the sl means liquid sulfur so it represent the effect of pressure uh, on the melting point of sm and it increases by increase in pressure so this is the curve ks then let us consider the curve ps so this is the curve ps so curve ps it is the called as the transition curve between the sr and sm and here uh, rhombic sulfur and the monoclinic sulfur uh, this these are the two solid phases they are in equilibrium along the transition curve uh, it show the effect of pressure on the transition temperature of the that is the sr and the sm the transformation of the sr and sm uh, is accompanied by increase of the volume thus increase of pressure will shift the equilibrium to the left and uh, transition temperature will be therefore being increased so here the curve ps curve ps it is the called as the transition curve uh, between the sr and the sm and the uh, last stable curve that is the curve sw so this is the curve sw so this curve it is the called as the melting point curve of the sr here the two phases in equilibrium are sr and the sl that is the rhombic sulfur and the sulfur liquid so here it gives the effect of pressure on the melting point of sr and increase in pressure increases the melting point of the sr so here the above point s yes, uh, in the phase diagram uh, its temperature is 151 degree celsius and the pressure is uh, 1288 atmosphere uh, liquid sulfur crystallizes into the rhombic sulfur so this is about the stable curve uh, in the phase diagram of the sulfur system so let us discuss the uh, metastable curves so here in the phase diagram of the sulfur system uh, there are four metastable curves and here the metastable curves uh, they are shown by the dotted line so here these are the or all four metastable curve so here the first curve is the ph so here this is the ph and this uh, ph uh, it is a continuation of the curve kp Uh, it is a known as the sublimation curve of the metastable sm so here along this uh, sm and sv are in metastable equilibrium this curve is obtained by carefully lowering the temperature uh, rapidly and under such condition sm does not changes into the sr so here the curve ph it is a sublimation curve of the metastable sm then the second metastable curve that is the curve uh, pr so this is the curve pr uh, it is a continuation of the curve op so here the op is continuous so here this is a curve pr it is a continuation of the curve op uh, it is obtained by superheating of the sr so here at point p so here at point p sr does not changes into the sm but continue to be the sr but in metastable state so here it is a designated as a sublimation curve of the metastable sr along this curve uh, metastable phases sr and sv are in equilibrium so this is the second metastable curve then let us consider the third that is the curve pk so here the it is a continuous of the ku so here the it is not pk actually it is a rk so here this is the rk so curve rk it is a continuous of the curve ku and it is a called as the vapor pressure curve of supercooled uh, sulfur liquid the curve represent metastable equilibrium between the uh, supercooled sr sl and the sv that is a supercooled 
sulfur liquid and the sulfur vapor so here the curve pk it is the vapor pressure curve of the supercooled uh, liquid sulfur then the curve sr so this is the curve sr so here it is a continuation of the sw so this is the curve sw and the continuation of the sw is the sr so here uh, it obtain under metastable condition uh, it is called as the melting point curve of metastable sr and along this curve sr is in metastable equilibrium with the sl so here this curve expresses the effect of the pressure on the metastable sr so friends this is about the uh, curves uh, in phase diagram of the sulfur system uh, there are two types of the curve stable and the metastable curve and here next point is the triple point so here there are three stable triple point uh, p k and s and one metastable triple point that is r so here let us consider one by one so here point p so here this is the point p so at this point p three curves that is op pk and ps meet so here the op then here pk and the ps so here they are meet and hence here the sr sm sv coexist in equilibrium and here the temperature corresponding to the p uh, temperature is 95.6 degree celsius and is called as the transition temperature so here the point p then here the uh, point k so this is the point k it represent the melting point of sm so here the temperature is 119 degree celsius this is a stable triple point at which sm sl and sv are in equilibrium that is the monoclinic sulfur the sulfur liquid and the sulfur vapor these three phases they are in equilibrium at point k uh, so here the second uh, triple point then the next one is the point s so this is the point s at this point uh, three curves that is the uh, ps ks and sw meet at this point three phases that is the sr sm and sl that is a rhombic sulfur monoclinic sulfur and the sulfur liquid coexist in equilibrium the temperature corresponding to s is 151 degree celsius so here the temperature is 151 degree celsius and the pressure is 1288 atmosphere and the lastly let us consider the uh, metastable triple point there is a only one metastable triple point that is a r so here uh, it is a metastable triple point and three metastable phases so which are these three meta, uh, metastable phases are in equilibrium the first one is the rhombic sulfur second one is the sulfur liquid and third one is the sulfur vapor so this is sr sl and sv are in equilibrium at point r so the temperature corresponding to this point it is 115 115 degree celsius which is the melting point of the metastable sr so friends uh, this is about the phase diagram of the sulfur system when we discuss the phase diagram of the sulfur system three points are very important that is the areas then the curves and the uh, triple point so here uh, let us uh, consider the sulfur system at a glance so here uh, portion of the phase diagram existing phases and the degrees of freedom so here as we discuss the areas there are four areas and here the phases uh, in equilibrium or here the phases present in the areas so here this is the vapor phase sv uh, when we consider the area uk sw the liquid phase sl so on here sm and sr what is important so the degrees of freedom for the areas uh, it is equal to 2 so here when we have to locate any point in the area we have to specify the temperature as well as the pressure that's why the degree of freedom it is equal to 2 then here when we consider the uh, curves once again there are two types of the curves stable curves and the metastable curves so here these are the six uh, stable curves and here the uh, phases or their names so here the curve pk it is a sublimation curve of the sr so here already we have discussed this and what is important here uh, the degree of freedom of the curves it is equal to 1 that means here if we have to locate a point on the curves at either we have to mention temperature or the pressure so here these are the stable curves then here the metastable curves so here uh, these are the four metastable curves and here the existing phases on the metastable curves already we have discussed this again the degree of freedom it is equal to 1 then the triple points uh, 
दीज आर द स्टेबल ट्रिपल पॉइंट पी के एस एंड हियर द फेजेस और हियर दीज आर द फेजेस इक्विब्रियम एट ट्रिपल पॉइंट्स सो यर द पॉइंट पी सो एस आर इज इक्विब्रियम विद द एस एम एस एम इज इक्विब्रियम विद द एस वी एट पॉइंट के हियर एस एम इज इक्विब्रियम विद द एस एल एस एल इज इक्विब्रियम विद द एस वी एंड पॉइंट एस एस आर इज इक्विब्रियम विद द एस एम एंड एस एम इज इक्विब्रियम विद द एस एल सो हियर एट ट्रिपल पॉइंट ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट द थ्री फेजेस आर इन इक्विब्रियम एट फिक्स टेम्परेचर एंड द फिक्स प्रेशर दैट्स वाई देर डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स हियर इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी टू मैंशन द टेम्परेचर एंड द प्रेशर ऑफ द ट्रिपल पॉइंट सो सेम फॉर द मेटेस स्टेबल ट्रिपल पॉइंट देर इज ओनली वन मेटा स्टेबल ट्रिपल पॉइंट दैट इज अ पॉइंट आर इन द डायग्राम एंड एट पॉइंट आर यर एस आर इज इक्वल रूम विद द एस एल एस एल इज इक्वल रूम विद द एस वी एंड डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रेंड दिस इज अबाउट द सल्फर सिस्टम सल्फर सिस्टम इज द वन कॉम्पोनट सिस्टम थैंक यू